The following is an unpaid preview for a game seeking funding on Kickstarter. The product seen here is a work in progress and is subject to change during the duration of the project. Hello everyone, I'm Ferdinand the Carpet Stacker and welcome to the Kickstarter preview to Brook City where you're going to be cops trying to solve cases and trying to beat up the bad guys. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. In this cooperative crime simulation game, you and your friends are cops working together to bust crimes and lock up the main suspect. Every game you be put up against a master criminal and a case to solve. Criminals give the game its behavior, which the cops will be pressured under by all sorts of obstacles. Shade Harper, one of the criminals that can be selected in each individual game, works with corrupted investigators that if left unchecked will cause the players to lose if he gains too much influence. The cases give the game its scenario for the cops to solve and ultimately winning the game. In one of the cases, the cops will have to solve a murder by picking up clues and locations. However, obtaining these clues can stress up your cops and even may be tricky to obtain. If the cops are able to solve the case before the criminals reaches their objective, the cops win. If the cops are too slow and the case deck becomes depleted, the criminal reaches their objective, or stress overcomes the cops in the game causing them to be fired, the players lose. Brook City is one big place. With its many locations to visit, walking on foot can only do so much. The police department has provided the cops with their own car, but you can always commandeer civilian cars, single motorized vehicles, and boats to travel up and down the river. The dice and cards are the heart of the game. Most of the time, you'll be busting cops, which the cops need to be near the point of interest of an associated card and have an encounter there. In order to have an encounter, the cops will need to play a card or use a card action already out, and rolls dice to see the results. There are three different approaches to interacting with a card, each having a resistance. Cops have their own main approach, while other approaches can be found by playing cards. The number of successes needed to overcome resistance and the exit successes converts into progress tokens placed on the card. Once there's enough progress tokens, the card is considered busted. So that was a very, very small look at the game. This game is has a lot of stuff going for it. The, the, the map is huge. There's a lot of miniatures you can go to, a lot of cards in there. I mean, you're going to get a lot of stuff when you're going to get this game. Now. Talking about the theme first, it's, I mean, this is a really thematic game, how it plays out. You're cops, you have these vehicles, you're running around trying to get clues, trying to solve this case. I mean, this is super highly thematic. I mean, I'm really, really like, digging the theme in this and the, even the overall story in this and how you can choose, like, the mastermind. He kind of has, like, this influence of the game and the, the case itself and you're trying to look for clues. Like, we have a murder one that you're trying to solve, trying to get murders and trying to follow up with those murders. The game itself is all about car play, how the structure, how it works, about cards being drawn. And it's it's very intuitive, I, th I think, where you're just going to draw a card, see what happens, and it goes to, it follows a line in there. You kind of can set up yourself of, how the strategy works of what to, you know, do I should I focus on this card? Should I focus on the case card? Or even should I focus on the criminal cards? Now going into the game deeper itself, the cards and how they play it out, how the mechanics of the criminal works, how the case works. I mean, it plays really, really thematically. The case, you're trying to pick up clues. There are these spots on the board you have to pick up. The, um, the criminal himself has this influence where the guys are on the board. They're popping up. They're get, trying to get money. You can let them have what they want, You may, but you may get stressed. Or uh, just like just so many things that's, that can't happen in the game. And you have to keep thinking like, oh, sh should I just like focus on the crime, the criminal because he's getting too much influence and that's way, one of the ways to lose the game. Or in order to win the game is to go get on the case, but if you take too much time, then the case is lost. So for my final impressions of Brook City, this is a, a game that is highly thematic, has a lot of good art, has a lot of good gameplay in there, has a lot of replay value. This game is huge of what you can do with it with it because the the big the map's huge there's a lot of cards there's a lot of uh, ways to just pick up cards you want to play in a scenario in there i do highly suggest that you check it out the 
link to the Kickstarter in the description below and see if this is a game you like you support. So with that, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. You have done so already. And if you like this video, please give it a like. I'm Fern the Carpet Stacker, and remember to keep on stacking games. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on boarding car games. This is the Carbert Stacker and remember to keep on stacking games.